Hello, hello everyone. This is uh, Naj here. Welcome to my very first 1.16 Let's Play. I'm super excited to get this started. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any YouTube videos. Some of you will notice. Uh, some of you, this is your first time, and uh, thank you for uh, thanks for joining me. <laughs> uh, this will be a little bit different of a Let's Play. I've got a couple of data packs I'm going to be using, um, but I am, in general, super excited to start. So, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to mention the beginning so let's just begin uh, the minecraft sky is beautiful the sun is rising and we have a pretty nice spawn here excited about that i love having an ocean nearby and of course um, sheep right there is awesome too but as with every minecraft let's play start well every minecraft game <laughs> really uh let's just punch a tree uh the the lovely punching of trees. For me, it's been happening since 2013. That was when my very first Minecraft world was ever created. Back when I was in college, actually. And let's see. I'm going to start by making the best tool to start out with. That is a wooden tool. Of course, my crafting table and some sticks. And then... Then... The only wooden tool you'll ever need. Really. A pick. A pick. And I'm going to dig this right down, because this is how I do things. I know it's the cardinal rule of Minecraft, you do not dig straight down. Which is why I stop after a few blocks, and, uh... Oh. Hello. Um, yep. Here's the reason it's the cardinal rule. Let's, uh, let's stop. Let's just uh, get moving to not digging straight down. Yep. But uh, ignoring that for a second, um, I am just going to grab some stone here. Just need a little bit of stone. Uh, I think I'm probably going to get six to start with. Just make myself a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. The stone axe being probably more important right now. Just because... Uh, of how I'm going to do things. I am just going to get a fair amount of wood, I think, and look for a place to build a home, because that's, you know, day one stuff. Starter house. So let's just get out of here. Oh, um, that's right. Uh, ignore that. And let's just build us, build craft, build craft us. Stone pickaxe and a stone axe. Excellent. Pick this guy up. Get a little bit more wood here. Not much. Just finish this tree, I think. And... I think we'll just keep going on. Let's see. That area over there looks promising. And, of course, I... I'm going to have to stop and say hello to these sheep. Hello, sheepy. Will you give me your meat and wool? Thank you. And you, sir. Thank you very much for your service. And you. Uh, yeah, that's all I need. It's about the only time in the game I'll ever eat mutton. It's uh, day one and moving on. There's some cows. I think I'm going to leave those, just in case there's no other cows nearby. I know, I know. I probably should have left the sheep, too. But I preferred to have a, uh, a place to sleep. Uh, this looks like a nice little pond here. I like that. And, of course, we're moving up into the mountains, which has my favorite colors, actually, of all of Minecraft. I, a lot of people like jungle. Me, I like the mountain colors. A little bit toned down. And, uh, yeah. We got some more cows here. Lots more cows. So I think I'm just going to grab myself a little bit more to eat. Hello, cow. Hello. Oh, you have a baby. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's not do any more cows. That's fine for now. Uh, spruce wood right here. My favorite wood in the game. This is... Amazing wood. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick up some some wood here, and 
Uh, I'd mentioned that there are a few um, changes to this Let's Play from a vanilla normal vanilla. It's mostly vanilla. It is, uh, I would say, a tweaked vanilla. <laughs> I use um, several data packs from vanilla tweaks. Um, a few that are not vanilla tweaks, but are vanilla tweak-ish. So, uh, let's see, which ones am I using? More mob heads. That is a one that I love using. Um, the armor stands. And uh, you can check out any of these at Exuma's uh, Vanilla Tweaks website if you're interested. Um, I'm not working with them. This is not sponsored in any way, of course, but uh, yeah. And then I've got a couple other ones that, you know, just... Uh, what's the word? Ease of life sort of things. Ah, uh, here's one. So one of them plants saplings automatically. Which can be very nice, and it can also be annoying at times. But, when I'm not trying to clear out a forest, it is extremely nice. Um, and there's a chicken. Hello, chicken. Uh, yes, I am holding seeds, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Let's just take these saplings, and I think I need to get some more wood here. I'm not sure how much exactly I've got, but I'm pretty sure I don't have enough resources to start building a house yet. Only 29 spruce. Uh, no. Yeah. You know what, guys? I think this is the perfect time for time-lapse. I will be uh, right here, and I hope you'll enjoy this little resource gathering session. done? Okay. Uh, well, good thing I can move that fast, otherwise uh, this would take forever. Uh, just, it's so nice having time lapses, being able to show you what I'm doing. Now, this area, I think, looks like a wonderful area to start um, a starter house. <laughs> There's a uh, baby cow over here, but I'm just going to do what I do all the time when I start a house uh, in any Minecraft build, which is plan out the diameter or, uh, the exterior diameter only applies if I'm building, I know, a circle, which isn't that difficult. But um, I'm going to put down the base, I'm going to frame this up, and then I'll get to actually building out more details once I get uh, the whole of the frame up that I want. So for this one being a starter house, I'm just going to do uh, one story, and uh, if there's space in the attic, I'll probably put some storage up there. But for the time being, let's build out a little entrance here. Cow, please go away. Thank you. And just a three high door frame. I'll put that there for now. Probably change that in a bit. But it is getting dark. It is dark, dark, dark. And I don't have any uh, master sleeper on here, so I'm going to have to do it myself. White bed. Here we go. The end of day one, and yep, we don't have a starter house yet. Oh well, this happens, especially when I do things. Okay, so let's just start working over here. I don't actually like this. I do want some windows up front, but I don't like the way that is, so I'm going to bring that over. And let's finish framing this out before I do any details. Like I said, I was going to do... It'd be nice if I actually did what I say, wouldn't it? Alright, there's that. That's not bad. A little blocky, but it... I mean... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go any further with that. <laughs> you obviously know what game we're playing. A little blocky. Funny. Funny. I think I'm going to just put 
all the rest of this here, and uh, that's all I've got. Time for another bit of resource, resource gathering. Resources have been gathered, and hopefully this will be enough. I doubt it, but hopefully it will be. Um, I have an idea in mind of what I'm building for my starter house. Um, I suppose a starter cottage would be more appropriate. But let me just come through the window here, and let's get working on uh, on some stuff. I'm just going to fill out the rest of this wall, I think. Yep, let's do this. Put a window there. It's nice. Let's add another one here. I like lots of natural lights. My wife would be proud of me. And let's take out this wall here because it's a cottage. It's in Minecraft, and we have this lovely block that's been in the game since 2013, which is the campfire. I gotta tell you, this was such a game changer for me. I love, I love this block. It is useful. It is gorgeous, and I can't think of any build that I don't have a fireplace in. Unless, well, okay, I can think of several that I don't have a fireplace in. But if I can manage it, if it makes sense, I will put a fireplace in. Um, but since it is day two, and we have not actually eaten anything, let's cook up our food. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You can have up to 12 pieces of meat in this fireplace cooking. Or potatoes. Cooking at the same time. It's amazing. I'm just now realizing that I didn't pick up any more stone. I only picked up wood. Well, that's an issue. Uh, I'm just going to work on the door for a few minutes while I wait for my food to finish up. Um, and yeah. Ooh, ow, ow, hot, hot. Okay, let's, um... <laughs> I think I'm going to be going out and getting more stone soon. I don't know if I'm going to add another time lapse in because I've already done two and this is the first episode. But time being, I'm going to strip all of this, get rid of that placeholder block, and put in the best block to put over a door, which is a stair block. Yep. And I like the way that looks. Uh, I think I'm going to strip the rest of these blocks that are not my framing, just to give us a little more of the, uh, the cottagey look. Yeah, I like that a lot. It looks nice. It looks very nice. Once I get a roof on this and some de some more details, this will look amazing. Um, so, let's see here. I think... Yep, I don't think I can do anything else until I get s more spruce. Yay. And more wood. More oak. And more stone. So, uh, here, here we go. And the day is ending. The night is falling. We have a lot more resources. I hope I don't have to go out and do more gathering after this. I am very tired from gathering. And uh, I had put, uh, originally I had forgotten about putting a... Um, and edit in there, I think. Not sure if I edited that uh, that transition, but hopefully I did in post production. Um, but now let's finish working on my little fireplace here. So I still need to make another uh, campfire for the top. 
but I'm just going to build out the body here, make it look kind of nice. And, uh, yep, I like that. I think I like that. Let's come back and take a look, as you should with any build. Yeah, I like the way the body of that is 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 there. Yeah, that's that's good. That's very good. Now, let's make the inside look nicer. I think I'm going to put an archway here. And let's put some walls up. Yep, yep, that looks nice. Missing something, though. It's nice enough, but... Now, the walls may cause a little bit of an issue in just day-to-day -day stuff, but... Yes, that looks so much nicer. So much nicer. Nice little bevel into the wall. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. At some point, I might put a door there. Um, I might not. And, yeah, I think that uh, I don't have any more spruce wood. I didn't actually get any. That's right. Okay. Well, this is, what, day four now? Day th two? Day three? Some I forget. Uh, but it's time for more gathering. I'm not going to give you a time lapse. And I did not give you a time lapse, and I have lots of spruce, and I have lots of resources, and that was day three. That was day three. Day four, and we still don't have a roof <laughs> over our heads. But that is how things go when I'm involved. That is definitely how things go while I'm involved. So I think I'm going to start working on this roof. And uh, let's get things going here. I don't want to overlap that window too much, so I don't think I'm going to put anything there yet. Um, I'll just stick some dirt there. And I'm going for a, a kind of Nordic style house. Um, so I'm just going to strip all these in the front, just give a little, little bit of a uh, different look. And I'm going, um, the basic pattern I'm going with is, except for right here, uh, right here I'm of course changing it up, but in general I'm going um, block, stair, in, block, stair, in. Here I do want to give a little bit more definition. Um, I'm not don't think I'm going to put too much outside. I'm going to keep it kind of flush here, um, which is a little strange for me. But we're going to do it and see how it turns out. I think it'll look nice. Uh, of course, strip all this. This is why roofs are expensive. It's not because there's they're huge. Roofs are expensive because you use... <laughs> You have to taper things in, so you're using a lot more blocks per area. But, yeah, I like that. I think it'll look so much better once we get the rest of the roof in. So, let's work on this side over here. And uh, I'm going to need some more materials soon, so I'm just going to grab that. And please, please, I know about my inventory. It's... It's not great. I, n I need some storage. Um, but right now I just want to build. So, um, that, yeah, you just have to deal with it. And this is flush. I don't want this to be flush. What am I doing? I don't really know. Alright, let's move out. And, uh, yeah, inventory. Inventory. Don't. No mean comments, please. <laughs> Uh, I am recording every single episode of this in the very early morning before I go to work. So for me, that means uh, 4.30 in the morning is when I'm recording these. My brain is not always working. Uh, I mean, I have beside me my trusty cup of tea, sometimes coffee. This morning it's tea. And uh, I have to do this at this time of day and... A little bit away from where I normally would be playing Minecraft, just because uh, I have a... Oh, I, I'm going to fix that. Okay. Um, but just because I have a 15-month-old baby, 
at the moment, and my wife is sleeping still, and uh, I have to go to work, and I just want to, I just want to play. I want to play Minecraft, but m more than that, I want to play and share it with people, which is why I've got this YouTube video, YouTube channel, um, because I want to share my ideas with people, and this is a great way to do it. But uh, for now, I'm going to taper this roof off here, I think. i will give it a nice little shape. And, uh, and we'll move on. We will move on from here. Ah, one of the Vanilla Tweaks uh, little lovely things there. I love the old sound of Steve getting hurt. Um, I, I just love it. It's a wonderful sound. All right, this looks good. I like this. I like the way it's uh, it's coming along. The definition is very nice, and here it's definitely definitely needed to have the uh, excess on. Um, so a little bit of a jump here. Um, I might have to fix that, I think. Uh, but I kind of forgot to record as I was building the rest of the roof. So let's uh, finish this side off here, and I'll show you <laughs> what it looks like. Um, yeah, this is like I said, it's uh, it's it's been a while since I've done videos, so I kind of forget to do things like press the play button. But uh, here I'm just going to put a little bit of de detail. Not not there. No, not there. There we go. And because I'm going for a cottagey feel. You know, I don't feel like it needs to be symmetrical. That looks nice, I feel. I feel like that. that's nice. Very nice. There we go. That's better. And, oh, hello. What do we have here? A wandering trader appears. What do you have, sir? I have the... Th this also from Vanilla Tweaks. Um, but... Uh, I want all this. But I can't get any of it because I don't have any diamonds. I still want to head, even if I can't get beetroots. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, let's uh, let's not talk about what just happened. Um, I did not just kill a trader in those llamas. Uh, I just have these heads here because, uh, yeah, they gave them to me. It was a gift. But um, I want to share with you the way this thing looks finally. It's been uh, a little kind of coming, so let's just go into spirit mode here and take a look. Look at that. It is beautiful. I love this. I love the dilapidation of the top. I love everything. And uh, But I think we're going to have to call it there. I think we're going to have to call it there. Alright folks, I th hope you enjoyed this, I truly did, and I hope to see you next episode.